Ready, Jade Wall Trades here. Um, today I'm getting ready to demo this 3M hand masker. It is the M3000 hand masker from 3M, this yellow handle. Um, they're not paying me to do this demo, but I've been wanting to try these for a long time. And I just never really wanted to invest in it. I wasn't sure if it was going to save me the money or not. I don't do any spraying. Um, but I figured in this house that I'm working on right now, there's a ton of hardwood flooring and I'm doing a lot of baseboard, baseboard work and baseboard caulking. And this will save me a ton of time between the masking uh, paper and the masking tape that I need to use. So I'm going to show you guys how this works and um, that it so far has really been um, a great return on my investment. Uh, you can invest in just the handle and the cutting blade separately, or you can buy a whole kit at the home store or at Sherwin-Williams. Um, this particular handle piece, this yellow piece, comes with um, the handle itself, this black handle to hold on to, and then this piece right here, which is great for hooking onto your belt or your pant loop or um, your pocket or your ladder. You know, while you're working, so you can be hands-free and just kind of move along. Um, it's great. It's really easy to use. Right now, I'm using it with a 3M two-inch um, sharp lines blue tape. I like this tape or frog tape because of the thinness of the paper. And particularly on this job, it's an older house, so there are a lot of lines that aren't straight, and I have to be able to maneuver the tape um, on those curved lines to go ahead and make sure I get my my straight lines when I'm finished. Um, so you just load the tape on this black wheel right here and you can use whatever thickness of tape you want. And then you load your paper on a little prong that's right in here, just like this. It's a little tension prong. I'm using a 15 inch brown paper today. Um, you can use a 12 inch, you can use something longer if you want to. This particular arm comes with an attachment that comes down here and attaches on the end of the paper, but it only accommodates a 12 inch roll, it won't accommodate my 15 inch roll, so I just removed that for today. Um, and then it has a cutting blade, which is a separate piece that comes in the kit if you buy it as a kit. If you buy it separately, you have to buy this arm separately, so just make sure when you're buying it, you know what you're getting. And this um, cutting blade comes with a little rubber protector for your hands, and underneath it, you can see there's the cutting blade right there. And we're all familiar how, with, how those work with um, aluminum foil boxes and things like that. So when you finish, you just kind of press and pull and tear and we'll pull your paper off. So once you have it all loaded in here, uh, you take your tape and you put it right below this yellow guide right here. I'm just moving along the edge of the brown paper. You can also use plastic with this. I'm using the brown paper today because it's going to work best for what I'm doing. It's inexpensive and it'll protect from the overspray and just give me some good lines on the floor. And then there's this little black arm that moves right here. It's another guide. And you put your tape under that and that's what's going to allow your paper to roll smoothly. You want to give it a little pull to get it started. And that's that. So now we're going to go ahead and mask this island that I'm going to be working on today just to make sure I have clean floors.